all the work that I've given you because we've got some people with still quite a lot of this work to do. So you're in music obviously for a, a lot of periods this week. This is your main week in music. So this video basically is giving you enough to do, I think, for the entire week. Because there's no point in me adding more work for you for this week if we still haven't completed the work that's already there. Right, so as you know, you'll find all this work in your class notebook, which is here. So everything is the class notebook. That's what the class notebook has been designed for. The assignment function here is only for little assignments. And you're now in third year, so we, we need to give you some stuff that's more substantial. And that's what the class notebook is for. So the very first task that I gave you, that some of you obviously have done, involves naming the notes of the chord, exploring chords. Right, so for example, the answer to this one is FAC, the chord of F, FAC. And what you can do on class notebook is you can use the draw function, as some of you already know, and you can draw in your answers. So the answer is FAC. So as you can see, you can just draw your answers. Sometimes it's a bit scribbly, but you can just do that. The answer for this one is ACE, A minor, GBD, G major, DFA, and EGB. Okay? And then there's a task there where again you can write in the names of the notes. So for example, chord two and the key of C major is D minor. So that's D F A E. This one, for example, would be E G B. That's how you do your answer. Now some of you know I've already done that. I know. And the good thing is if you do that on class notebook, it copies automatically. You don't have to save it, sorry, save automatically. I said copy. It saves automatically. So you don't have to worry about saving it. Okay, and that's that one done back the pointer and I'll choose this one. So as you can see here, Miss Flynn has prepared a huge sheet for you on using chords. Okay, so you would look at that and the next thing you would then do is try a chord progression yourself. So for example, here you can see it says you use chord 1. So I'll go back to my draw function. So chord 1 is C. So I'd write in a C here. Right, now if you've got a keyboard or an instrument at home, maybe a guitar, you can then experiment with these chords here. And for example, you might decide that chord 2, which goes on to be 3 and 4, so you might decide chord 2 would be D minor. So you just write in D minor, like so. Yep, now you'll see there that I've went over the box, don't worry about that, etc. Don't worry about that. Right? And then there it says there, for example, use chord V, so I'd fill out some of these other boxes. And it says chord V is 5, so that's G. So I'd write in G in there, and you can follow the instructions here too. Okay? So that's the next task that some of you might want to try out today. Okay? Right, now as well as that, what I've also given you is this booklet here. And this is quite a good booklet, right? So once again, I think that I've actually made up a video about this booklet. So this is again is to do with composition, because as well as knowing the notes of the chord, you need to know what the musical notes are all called. Now I know I've done a lot of this before, I know it's quite straightforward for some of you, but it doesn't take, even for example, me as a music teacher, quite often it's a nice exercise for me just to go back over and write in some answers. The answer, so that's a C, that's an F, right? See how quickly I'm doing that? That's an F, right? That's an E. So see how I'm able to see, see the name of these notes really quickly? Well, that's what you need to do. So you can obviously look above to get your answers here. But the whole point of the booklet is to learn really quickly and build up your skills. So, I, for example, if I, if I have to answer this one here, I can go G, right? I can go B, I can go F, I can go D. See how quickly I can do that? That's the goal, to get as quick as that. Okay, so there's more tasks for you there to do all of that. Some tasks where you've got to write in the notes. It's slightly trickier, but there you go, look, I've just done it. It's not impossible, look. Yeah, okay. Very straightforward. There you go. Okay, so I'm clicking on my mouse just now and I'm doing that. So it's more than doable. And there's some really nice little composition tasks where you have to actually uh, do some repetition or do some sequence. All of the instructions are all in there. It gives you an example, look. It gives you an example. So for example, an ascending sequence, one note higher. The answer for this one, well, one note higher from that F is a G. So it'd be that. One note higher from that D is an E. So it'd be that. One note higher from that G is an A, so it'd be that. All of this is practice, getting used to reading and writing music, if you see what I mean. Now, I got that one slightly wrong. It wasn't actually wrong. I just, my, my mouse didn't quite go to the line. So I can go like that, rub it out, put on that again, 
and try it again to see if I can get the note on the line this time, which I can. Okay, so that's there. And there's also other tasks as well there for you. This is a good task on rhythm, right? Some really good tasks on that. So as I say, you're in music for, oh, I can't remember how many periods, six periods this week. So this is plenty to go on with. Okay, right. Now the next thing I've got for you is a little bit, if you find yourself getting a little bit fed up because you're in for double periods about doing musical notes all the time and doing composition all the time, I've given you something extra to try. A reggae unit, something just a little bit different. Now there is a video on how to do this reggae unit. Now I've already posted it, but I'll post it again. So in addition to the link to this video that I'm making just now, I'll post a video that shows you how to use do this reggae unit one more time. Okay, so and as well as that, I think Miss Flynn also posted other work on Thursday. In fact, let's just look at that just now. Okay, so I'm not quite sure if you looked at that yet, but that's all there for you to look at too. Oh, look at that. Fantastic from Miss Flynn. Okay, some wonderful stuff to look at. So, as I say, I think... I can safely say that you'll have now lots to go on with. I'll just hit back. Back again. So in addition to the work, yeah, there it's there. So in addition to the work that's in your class notebook, that I just went over, yeah? Right, in addition to that, there's also the extra work that Miss Flynn posted on Thursday. And I think I can safely say that everybody in the class has got plenty to do this week. Because remember this week, I'm actually teaching back in school again, because we have, as you've probably heard, the seniors who are doing practical work are now in school, so I'm back to face-to-face -to -face teaching. So this is why I've taken some time this afternoon just to do a video for you all, so that if you watch the video and you watch what I've just done, you know exactly what you have to do. I think I think you can safely say that the work here and the work that Miss Flynn posted is enough to do for the whole week. But I'll keep an eye on what you're doing, but I think that's enough to keep you busy for the whole week in class. Because as I say, I'm back in school again. So there's a lot of preparation and, and, and with COVID regulations, etc. There's a lot of stuff that I've got to do to prepare for the class prepare the classroom for the seniors that are coming in, etc. Uh, because there's got to be a lot of social distancing uh, going on, uh, as you've probably heard. So it's much so I've got to rearrange the classroom and stuff. So that's why I just want to make sure that my third year class have got lots to do and I think I can safely say you have. Okay, any problems or questions, as ever, best thing to do is just to leave me a message here. Just post a message here and I'll get back to you because I've got my alerts on so I know that if you've actually asked, asked a question, etc. But hopefully this video has explained everything that you need to do, given you the instructions for how you use Teams and that should be enough to do for the whole week. Okay, I'll keep an eye on that though. I'll, I'll add in more work if I feel as though you need it. But I think we can safely say that's plenty to do for this week. Thank you.